pressure on composition. Now, step it out. Good, two more breaths in through your nose. And out. And in. And out. And come on up. All right, very good. Okay, so let's um, get in a little bit of exercises throughout our warm up here. I kind of did this yesterday where I sprinkled in the stretches and the exercises through the uh, uh, tempo warm up. So we're gonna do the same thing. So keep that chair, that couch, don't go moving your couch, but keep it handy. Okay, uh, let's take our hands, let's just stretch it out real quick. Okay, let's take them all the way up. I started a couple classes just like this, right? But sometimes we're forgetting to stretch at home as that goes all the way up. Very good, all right. Let's bend at the hips, all the way down. Soft bend in your knees if you want. If you want to open up your feet a little bit, you can, but let your head hang, okay? Hamstring, let that stretch, and just breathe it out. Good, slowly roll up. Good. Take your hands all the way up. Keep them up. Now, we're not going to actually sit in the chair. We don't want you to think like there's a chair behind you and sit. Just like we were to do wall sits, right? Keeping your back up, your knees up, your eyes up. Start to warm up your lower body, warm up your legs. We're just going to hold it for 10, 9, sit lower, 8, 7, sit back, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Up. And all the way over again. Good. Roll it all the way back up. Very good. Take your left leg, bend it at your knee, keep the knee down, grab the in uh, top of your ankle. Okay, pull that in for a little bit of a stretch as that comes in. Very good. Good. Plant that left foot down. Pick up your right. Good. Balance. Okay. Knee is down. Good. Breathe. Good. Put it back down. Take your left leg on. I'm going to take my left. Right. I'll just pull it up. Cross it in front. If you want to <coughs> chair a chair to hold on to, you can, or just check your balance. Okay. If, you, if this is enough for you for balance working at, try to sit down a little bit. And then you're going to actually try to go as low as you did in that sitting in a chair pose, right? But you're going to have that knee bent over, and you're going to try to sit nice and low, splaying, right? As I show this to you, your left knee open as you sit down. So I like to keep my hands in front of me here, right? That helps sit. Just hold it for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring it up. Good, and down, good, shake it out. Let's do the other side. Take your right leg out. This one might be harder balancing on your left leg, right? I'm taking my knee, not my right ankle over my left knee, but balancing on your left sometimes is harder, right? And then sit down into it slowly. Let your hands rotate if you want. Keep, find something in front of you to stare at and work those muscles. Good, just hold it down for 10, nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Up and down. Good. Okay. Keeping where we are. Okay. Take your left leg, bring it up again. Take your left knee and push it behind. Now, if you want to put your hands on the floor for this, you can. If you want to again check your balance, you can. Come onto the chair, you can do that as well. Right. But what we're going to do here is we're going to do those one-legged squats from here, right, down and up, 
down and up. We're going to do 10. Okay, so you can shake out your legs before we start. But if you want the balance of your hands on the floor, just like this, just fingertips down, not a huge motion. Come back up, go into here, huge motion here, right? Or check your balance, totally up to you. One side might be different, okay? So bring your right knee behind your, oh, sorry, your left knee behind your right knee. And let's go one, up slow, two, three, four, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, bring it up, and back down. Good, okay, let's get the other side. All right, right leg, warm it up. Like I said, our lower body is a lot more today because we're gonna get into our precision kicks. Bring your right knee up, bring your right knee behind your left, find your balance wherever you want it. Let's squat it down. One, two, three, four, five, six, uh-oh. Seven, eight, nine, ten, up, put it down. Very good. Okay. Let's go back to where we started for a second. Hands all the way up. Good, stretching it out. All the way down. Good. Bang it. Touch your uh, knees if you need to. Touch the floor. Good. From here, sit. Bring your hands back up. Good. Good, stand back up, straighten your legs, putting your hands back down on the floor, open up your feet. Good, take your uh, elbows inside your knee and sit down into it, as low as you want to go so they can feel on that, okay? Push out with your elbows. I mean, because... Is everyone having uh, internet problems? Uh, stay in your stretch, but are you having internet problems hearing me? No? Okay, keep going. Hold it for another five. Hold it for another four. Three. Two. One from here. Your feet are already wide. Put your hands down. Stand up again. Okay. Very good. Widen out into a little bit more of a split. Okay, as far as you would like to go today. Down. Good, breathe and stretch. Whoo, push. Good, hold it for two more breaths in through your nose and out and in. And when you breathe out, drop your knees. Boom, boom, knees wide, push. Good, sit back into it. Hello, hips. Warmed up our legs, now we're warming up our hips. Good, push back, push back. Some days might, you might feel tighter. That's absolutely fine, push yourself. Good, one more breath here. And out, good, okay. All right, your hips are pretty warm, right? Take your hands underneath you here, right? Just like I'm in this tabletop position here, okay? Good, feet up, good, push forward, roll forward, find your plank and hold it. Start to activate and liven up the rest of your core. Let's breathe. Keep going. Breathe, hold for another 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and right into 10 push ups, and that's it. Let's go. Ready? Push ups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and drop. 
Good. Just start to warm up your upper body. Very good. Okay. All right. We're going to get back into some of that in a minute. All right. I'm going to go ahead, take my chair. All right. Or if you have the couch, if you'd like to put a pillow there, you can. You don't have to. You can just use the back of the chair. Okay. Because today's going to be about precision. Right. I'm going to show you this from both. Uh, left and right intervals, just so you guys can see. Okay, so if I were to start with my front kick, the goal is to not knock over the uh, couch or the chair, right? If you want to bring a flamingo up, touch it, bring it back in, and bring it back down. So on that first one, I realized, oh, gotta take that ever so slightly adjustment step in, right? So I'm still gonna get that pivot up, using a ball of my foot, back in and down, right? That's all we're gonna practice right now. So it's gonna work your leg muscles as well. That's why I warm those up today, right? As you're going through it, we're gonna work all pieces of our, our kicks this way, okay? So left neutral bow, and if your back is facing me because of where your furniture is, absolutely fine, just listen to my voice. Guard is up, all right? Precision and kicks, uh, our third way that we're working them this week, okay? Right leg is gonna come up, on my count, ready? One, boom. And back down. Two. Boom. And back down. Just touch it. Ball of your foot. Don't let your toes touch it. Don't let your heel touch it. Be that specific. Three. Four. Five. Flamingo. Kick. Flamingo down. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. Good, jump switch. Other side, left leg. One, up, and back. Two, touch it, take it slow, and back. Three, up, and back. Four, up, just touch it. Five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Huh, good. Jump switch. Let's do front kicks again, but this time we're going to use our heel. Okay? So now you might need to take a small, uh, again, adjustment step closer. The reason why this is so important to use is I'm working different parts of my foot for the different. Uh, targets on the body, right? Maybe I use uh, one of these on uh, a higher or lower target, but to the side or to the front, right? Wherever you are. Let's get feel of your right foot now. Guard is going to be up, and you can still let your hands pull and marry with that, okay? Let's get your right leg. Ready? One, touch it. Don't let the chair fall over though. Two, pop, and back. Three, pop, four, Five, just the heel, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Pop, good, jump switch, other side, left leg, left heel. Here we go, one, pop, two, pull the toes back, three, four, pop, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Ever so specific. And again, this is working really that flamingo. We're not working our stiff leg kicks today. We're going basics, okay? So turn around. We're going to go into back kicks. Okay, this is going to be a little bit harder for the control. Back kick is such a strong tip. Okay, but the control, that's what we're looking for today. Okay, we're gonna do right leg first. All right, remember, reminder on my back kicks, I'm gonna peer down, not over my shoulder, but down, right? So that it helps keep my belt aligned, my hips aligned, right? So let's go heel on the foot. If you wanna start literal feet together standing, fine. I'm gonna start my right neutral bow so that my right leg is further away so that my flamingo, small in front of me here, Right? Then I can bring it up just a little, straight back, back in. Touch it. Hard. 
Keep your balance. That's also what this is working, going this slowly, okay? Here we go, right leg back kicks. One, boom, and back. Adjust if you need to. Two, touch, and back. Toes pointing down. Three, hips. Four, up. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, good, jump switch, left, okay, here we go, left leg, one, back it, heel just touch it, two, arms go, pop, back up on guard, three, pop, bring it back in, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and ten. Good. Shake out your legs. We're not even close to done with kicks today, you guys. Today is a little bit of a kick day. We'll get into kick techniques as well. Kind of our theme. All right, good. Okay. So we're going to go into side kicks. Two options, just like I do when we're in class, if there's a bag holder in front of you. You can either right, stay here. Now, this is going to be a little bit more of a snap kick. Now, Snap kick, thrust kick, snap kick, right? It's gonna pull back a little bit faster. Thrust kick is gonna go through and manipulate the opponent more. Right snap kick will keep them in place. I'm not gonna do too much thrust here because I don't wanna knock the chair over. Remember, this is about precision. But here are two options. Since I can do my right leg first, you can either start with it in front, facing the chair as it comes up, leg your foot back in. If you want even more, right? Start with your left leg in front, totally fine, right? Work your pivoting side kick touch and back and try to use, right? Because your whole foot's gonna to wanna to touch the back of the couch or the chair. Try to use the blade of your foot a little bit more, pushing that out this way, okay? So I'm gonna do a combo of both for those of you who are doing the standing or the or the pivoting. So I'm just gonna count it out to whichever one's comfortable for you. Okay, so here we go, right leg. One, up, back in and down, two. Boom, touch it lightly. Three, boom, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You'll notice how I pick it if you're able to do so. That foot turns all the way to the side. Eight, pass, bring it back. Nine, pass, and ten. Good, left leg. All right, we're not doing a million reps on each kick, so we're just gonna be doing a lot of kicks. Okay, left leg, here we go. One, boom, back in. Two, up, bring that flamingo up. Remember that flamingo comes up, look at how it's between me and the opponent. Okay, here we go. Three, oh, I knocked the chair over. Four, too strong, boom. Five, strong, good, jump switch. All right, sorry, don't jump so tight here because I'm going to show you the pivoting as well. So you got five more on your left leg. One, boom, two, three, four, five. Huh. Good, okay. Roundhouse kicks. Roundhouse kicks are going to be worked a little differently with the chair. You're trying to think, how do I hit the back of the chair with that? No, I don't want you to come to the side of the chair on the couch. I want you to still stay in front of it. So here's your option. I would like you to really kick over the top of the arm for, for the roundhouse kick. Because if you look, right, this is still below my waist. All of this is below my waist, and hopefully you guys are getting your kicks up even higher, at least to, to waist level when you're doing your techniques or your kicking set, right? So we're just working the precision today, flexibility to get your kicks up. So I am gonna rotate. Now, if you don't have the ability to rotate depending on the floor that you're on, Okay, start from your standing position first. You'll use your big leg and go right over the top of the chair over the top of the arm. Okay, if you want to get that full pivot, put your right leg back and then we'll pivot through it. If you have a really tough chair and it's not going anywhere and you want a little extra conditioning, you can hit the leg of the chair if that goes through. That's completely up to you. Okay, so left neutral though, I'm going to call out. Let's do 10 roundhouse kicks with our right leg. Here we go. One. Up, 
Let your hands go. Two, boom. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, jump switch. Okay, left leg. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Good, jump, uh, don't shoot, so I can say that. Sorry, I'm showing those up. You still got five more on your left. Left leg, here we go. One, two, three, four, and five. Good, okay, catch you come to the lines. All right, let's keep going. Again, now using the edge of my chair a little bit, okay? We're gonna go into crescent kicks. Okay, so I'm gonna use the chair today, right, to go along the top, because I want your crescent kicks to be higher. Right, I don't want them this long, like they're gonna be getting super long, I'm like, yeah, that's gonna be really cool. Okay, but from here I'm gonna start with my left neutral bow. I'm gonna take my right leg, I'm gonna go inside to out, Right, inside to my center line, and then out, bring that knee up, but extending that foot and landing back into my left neutral bow. I'm using the chair, right, so that I don't hit it with the couch, the arm of the couch, right, so it comes all the way through and back. We'll get into axe kicks in a second, right, but I'm going all the way full circle, all the way through back into that left neutral bow. If you want a little bit more of a target, you can put your right hand up as high as you want to go, so then that comes through and you can go back down. Not necessary, but if you would like that extra little bit of stretch and height, okay, we don't have anyone holding the paddle for you today. Okay, if you do want to work this kick at home, have a loved one grab you a piece of paper. Okay, great way to work this. Okay, have them hold it straight out and you stand there and go, okay, can I go through that? Okay, where am I? Okay, it's a great way to work that uh, with, with someone at home. Okay, left leg in front, press and kick, inside to out, guards up, on my count. One, back to neutral bow. Two, three, four, five, six. Try to keep your back straight. Try not to crunch this way as you're getting that kick in, okay? Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, before we jump switch, a little application behind that for those of you who may not know, or just a little bit of a reminder. This can go up to the base, right? If you kick me in the groin, my head comes out, or kick me in the knee, my head comes down, that crescent kick can go right through my base. Another option for you guys are scoring. Now you draw up of your opponent, right? You use that crescent kick to knock their hands down, but, and then you gotta land with a strike if I'm not landing back into my neutral bone, maybe I'm landing forward, and then I'm just following up. Okay, so you can use it as a strike on someone's body or as defense to get their hands away from it, okay? Let's jump switch. Let's get the uh, left leg, whether you have to switch sides of your chair or not. We'll extend left leg inside to out. Side might not go as high, but be careful. Let's try it. Start is up. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Jump switch. I told you this is going to be a little bit of a kick there. I haven't done this many kicks in one class in a while. All right. But if you have a question on a specific kick or a breakdown, please ask me. We are going to use the chair again. We're going to go into the axe kick. It's going to start just like the crescent, making this circle. But this time I'm going to use the seat to come down on it as if I were pretending like this is someone's shoulder, right, come up and straight down. So a crescent kick makes this big full circle and I travel back down. Axe kick makes that half circle and at the top, straight line down, okay? If you want to, you need to put an extra pad on there, absolutely fine. But when I do this, I'm gonna let my hands stay up, I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna come down. You're gonna see that it's the heel of my foot just knocking down right onto the top of the seat, I will reset on my own and I go up, right watch one more time. Whoop, ha, I'm not slamming my foot down, okay? I'm placing it there. It's about control for today. Now I'll reset. Okay, great little kick from the axe kick. 
Okay, right leg. One, pop and plant. Two, pop and pull. Three, and tap. Four, pull. Five, six, seven, eight, back, nine, and ten. And back, good. Jump switch, other side. Good, left leg again. Inside to out, half circle, boom, straight down on the ankle. Here we go. One, up, and back. Two, and back. Three, four, five. If you don't have a chair, just do the same motion, right? Circle, up, and back down. Back, six, and back, seven, eight, Nine and ten and back. Very good. Shake out your hips, shake out your legs. Let's keep going. Okay, we're gonna use the arms of the chair again. If you want to use the top of the couch or chair, that's up to you. Okay, we're gonna work the axe kick. We, uh, sorry, not the axe kick, the hook kick. We just did the axe. Now right, we're gonna work the hook. Okay, two options again, just like they gave you for the side kick. These two are in the same family. This is a little bit more complicated than the side kick, okay? Because it shoots like this side did, and then it hooks around, right? So I want you to think like, if you want to hit at that 12 o'clock, I want you to throw that kick to about 11.30, and then let it hook up and around. You want to be mean to your opponent, you're going to hit them with your heel. You want to be a little bit nicer, you're going to point your toes, you're going to use the bottom of the little full orange. Okay, but two options for you. You can either work it again, standing, bring that floating go up, hook it around and plant, or if you want to get that pivot, this goes up and around. If you want to get really fancy today, start with your left leg in front, and like I would do with the spinning back kick, I can make it a spinning hook kick, boom, as that goes up and around. Boom, you still hit that pump part, so not easy, and especially depending on the surface that you guys are training on. The spinning hook kick, not the most practical on the street, but hook kick's practical on the street all day, right? Maybe not up to the face where the person's still standing, but maybe I'm right in front of you and this is my opponent, I just go pop and I take down his leg. That's practical uh, to the end of the looks, right? Boom, pop as they're going down, okay? Thank you, thank you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the chair worked, okay. So, here we go. Um, either version you would like. Standing or pivoting, right leg is first, okay? Hook kicks, count out blade of your foot to start. Hook it around, heel hands. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and ten. Good. Jump switch. Let's hit your left. Okay, again, standing or uh, pivoting, totally up to you. Okay, here we go, left leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. I just settle back. Okay. Very good. Yeah. Are your legs warmed up? Okay. I lost my watch. I'm just checking on my uh on my phone. Okay. Cool. All right. Very good. Um. Good. I'm gonna bring up. One idea real quick, then we're not going to drill too fast. Then I want you guys to ask me any particular questions in a minute on a kick that you have or a kick in a technique, right? We're not going to do these on the chair, but I just want to show you is the in-step front kick, right? Because if you guys are working on a couch, right? You might not have a bottom to go on if the bottom of the chair is hard, right? But front kick of the in-step of the foot, just the same that we did with our front kick before, pop, good, we're using the top of my foot. 
This, by the way, is your chance to breathe for a second. You need some water while I'm talking, so we're fine. Okay, but I'm still working my front kick, team step of your foot, point plant, right, still using that flamingo. Pop, okay, as that comes up. Working on chair, you want to do that? It doesn't feel great. You want some conditioning. The top of your foot doesn't take too much, okay? Still using flamingo, in step of your foot, pointing the toes, flamingo, and back down. The other type of kick using that same motion, okay, is a little bit more of a stiff leg kick, which you can go forward, right? There's not a lot of bending in the knee for that, right? That comes up. You can also go stiff leg back, and we obviously have that within some of our techniques. When we go forward, right, a lot of times I'm pointing those toes coming up so I can reach the opponent, and if I'm going backwards, I'm using that heel of the foot, probably catching your jaw uh, uh, as they're on the floor, or if I just knock them back, I could come up underneath the groin, absolutely fine, right? The other, and I'm just throwing kicks out there today just to give you guys a full range of idea for kicks. We're not going to work the scoop kick too much on the chair, right? Because again, same idea. I don't want you guys to be hitting the chair too much with your foot. That'll hurt or the couch. You might not have the space, right? But we've had a whole class on scoop kick and heel kick. Spread right? pop as that comes up. Boom as that comes up. Okay. Um, leave the chair there for a second. Do we have, because I'm a little bit more than halfway through the class, questions on any of the kicks that we did? Uh, maybe I didn't call out a kick that you would like to see um, or one in your technique uh, that you're like, wait, we didn't hit that kick today. Um, please either type it in or, or unmute yourself to ask. I'm open to every suggestion we have. No, I know I gave a ho hopefully a uh, completely um, not – full system of kicks, but a, a lot of different options. Um, if you guys look on the left sides of your technique lists, right, every technique list has kicks and, and, um, and punches and blocks and strikes and all that kind of stuff. Um, but remember that when you're learning that left side of the sheet, all of that motion is within your techniques. So if you're not sure what something is, ask and we'll go back and work that technique and then you're gonna go oh right because that hook kick or that roundhouse kick might be to the kidney it might be a little bit different now i didn't put any foot maneuvers with our kicks today right because you have spinning hooks and spinning side kicks and shuffle up front kicks and and uh crossover roundhouse kicks and all that kind of stuff that's a whole other class where we can put every foot maneuver to every kick totally totally fine just something different the whole point with the chair today and you guys could do this at home precision 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 Okay, so that's what I wanted you guys to think about today. Okay, very nice. Thank you, Armine. Um, so if we are good with our kicks, let's move on. All right, you guys just had a quick second to breathe. Hopefully you did, I haven't. Um, but we're gonna uh, warm up real quick again with our body on the chair. We're gonna get into some uh, uh, techniques with kicks in it, and then I'll open it back up for you guys. Okay, so. Um, you guys have done these with me a lot. We're not going to do a ton. We've only done 10 push-ups today. We've only done like a little bit of a plank. I'm going to use it for a couple quick rounds of exercises, options for you, because I love using stuff at home uh, for, for workouts, right? If you guys don't have the gym or you don't literally have workout gear, there's plenty of stuff. Uh, I did get the other day, and I just went the other day in the kids' class. I told them all to go get uh, cans from their kitchen, and we did some start walking, set of cans in our hands. Okay, do stuff like that. Use the chairs, use whatever we have around the house. Okay, let's get a couple very quick rounds. I want you to do one more round of push ups with the chair, 10 on your own, whether your hands are here on the side of the chair or the couch, whether your feet are up this way, 10 push ups on your own, any way that you like using that prop. Okay, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good, or wherever you are. Okay, just another idea for you. I'm gonna get in my dicks as well, so join me. Okay, you wanna use the side of something cool? Just ten. We're not spending our whole, the whole class on uh, exercising, but just give that little exercise break. Before we get into our techniques. Down, here we go. Drop it low. I like the chair for these rather than the floor, right? Because you can drop a little bit lower, keeping your elbows tight. I think I lost count, but six, seven, 
Eight, nine, ten. Good. I'm going to lay on the floor for my crunches really quickly. I'm going to put my feet up. Okay, here we go. Crunch it up. One, or a double variation if you would like it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good, stand it back up. Last round, I want some legs. I know we worked on legs and we're not done with those, but I want to work the legs. You guys are outside and have like a concrete thing that you can jump up on. Right, you guys can do some box jumps, which I won't show too much on this because I might fall over. Okay, on the chair, if it's not stable. Right, but if you have a stack of something that's really stable, jump up to the bend, bring your feet up and land. Now, in, instead of my reverse lunges, you can do those today. I'm just gonna do step ups, okay? So control on the chair, right? I'm just gonna step up and back down, working the legs, okay? Alternate when you're doing that, okay? Up with your right, back down, then maybe switch it to your left, and you're just gonna go up 10 times. Okay, you can do this on a couch, on a chair, if you have an office chair there, and it's on wheels, please be careful. Boom, boom, you wanna do just squats if that's the only chair or another lunge, totally fine. I talk to you guys, I always lose count. Thanks. I'll go with the, uh, Uh, finish up wherever you are. I might have done an extra one or two. I have no idea. Maybe I'll go back later and watch my class. Okay. Good. Uh, there's your quick little uh, warm up back into it. So let's get into our uh, techniques. Okay. I want to, I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to get a call out techniques for you guys like I do in class sometimes. So I'm like, okay, here's the name of the technique. Do it. Okay. We're going to just work through some of our different kick techniques from the kicks that I was calling out today, all right, uh, all over the sheets. So I'm gonna pick out a couple, and if there are any more specific ones that you would like to see that you have a kick in your technique, you're like, how do I do that? Ask me towards the end of class, I'll leave some time for that, okay? Everyone jump into your left neutral bow, I'm gonna tilt the camera down slightly, if I'm talking too fast today. Not weird, your hand. Oh man, I did it too far. <laughs> all right, left neutral bow. Okay. Can you miss carrots over here? Just a little bit for me. <laughs> Just let it. It's okay. There we go. Okay. Thank you. All right. We're going to start with um, thrusting solar. All right. Same first move as deflecting hammer. If I remember right, you both step dragging off the line. But I'm going to pick thrusting solar because it has the kick in it after the kick attack. Okay. I do want us to. Ground yourself with the step jack and fire the kick immediately without any adjustment steps, okay? So from here, right, my left neutral bow is going to be up. I'm going to step drag and I'm going to block, right? Maybe it's a small step drag, maybe it's a big one. It's just off the line from when that kick is coming, right? If you were in my class yesterday or watch it, I talked about the universal symbol and the lines, right? So right now that line is in between my feet and that kick is coming straight on that line, straight from my ribs. So maybe it's right off the line. You'll notice that my left leg now is right on the other side of it, right? It did not need to be boom. So if it is that far, I'm going to need to do a foot maneuver before my next move. Okay, so just off the line as that slicing block comes down. Left neutral bow, step and block. Okay, right leg is going to fire front kick, almost on um, combo on the front kick and an old man's kick. And I, I know I didn't talk about that on the chair. Same flamingo, same part of my foot but my hips aren't turned as much into it, right? So I throw that front kick into the groin, and then I save my hips for the palm strike, okay? You'll notice I didn't take adjustment steps, and I don't want you guys to do the drill while you guys are practicing your basic techniques. Okay, guard is up, step drag off the line, kick, fire, load, pop, there's your palm strike. Okay, so let's try that a couple times. We're not going to be working with left sides of techniques today. We're going to just stick to uh, textbook-based techniques. If you want to later go back and do that, please do. Okay, so left leg, here we go. One, good, here we go. Stop me and do the questions. Thrusting salute off of a front straight kick coming in that way. Two, reset, you can cross over on guard every time, but put yourself back in the set. 
three. I'll do it at different paces if you guys need to watch it, but you go at your own pace. Three. That was probably four, though. Five. Pace is different than timing. Remember that. Pace is how fast you do it. Timing is the beats of your technique. Okay, let's do it two more times. We'll do lucky number seven today. All right? Six. And seven. Ah, very good. Okay. Let's move on. All right. Thrusting salute, orange belt sheet. All right. Um, where is all my lifts in my head? Cool. We're going to go up the sheet because I want to be picking a different uh, rank and different types of kicks. We're going to go into leaping crane. You guys have learning techniques. You can stay with me for the kick part of the technique. You want to just do that part. If you want to try to do the whole technique, absolutely fine. Leaping crane. Okay, right punch is coming in. All right, I'm going to be stepping off the line. Same idea when I stepped off the line for a step drag, right? But I'm just coming off enough so the punch doesn't punch me in the nose. Leaping crane, right step through punch coming right from my nose. Carry the punch. I'm going to use that nice, strong fist in an oblong circle, right? Not wide. Don't let your arm flail open this way. Shoot it and pull. Textbook is a phoenix fist. You want to just use a, a straight knuckle hand. Absolutely okay. Okay, so when I do that, the left leg goes, my head is off line from where it was. Step. Now, when I put it all together, I do all that, I bring my right leg up. Boom! You'll notice that my hips are square to the opponent. I did not go this way try to back kick them, right? Because we're going to do a side blade kick next. My hips go, pop, side kick. Land with your back fist, bounce up with your elbow. Instead of going back fist, big roundhouse elbow, compact that motion, pop, boom. You hit them in the kidney, the action is to bring your head back, elbow goes right up into the back of your head. Okay, so watch the breakdown again before I count it. As we step, this comes, we step, right leg comes up, my hip turns the opponent, kick it, back, right? Kick when you land there, gravity land with your back fist, and elbow, okay? Here we go, leaping crane at whatever pace that you would like to do it at. One, still with the timing though, that's what's important. Two, three. Four. See that punch coming in at you? Get your head off the line. Five. Six. Seven. And oh, that was seven. Lucky number seven. I was going to keep going. Okay. <laughs> to get over themselves. Okay. Let's move up. All right. Um. Snaking talent. Okay. Blue belt. Snaking talent. All right. If you want to just work the kicks in this technique, remember that's what today's class is about. I was talking about that with uh, Sarah earlier in her lesson, right? She's like, oh, the drill that you did the other day, you're doing a kick drill. She's like, that helped recognize something specific in one of my techniques. Even if you haven't learned the blue belt technique, snaking talent yet, you can still take the drill on the lessons of the drills and go ahead and put them in your techniques. If you do know the technique, hopefully this will tighten it up a little bit or give you a new idea. I'm going to break down the beginning of it, but if you'd like to just do the uh, kick portion, absolutely fine. If you'll notice, I'm picking techniques that have different types of kicks in it, depending on the sheet, okay? So we work sinking talent off of a two-handed push. I like to start this one with my hands up. Left leg is going to step back. Just like I'm doing alternating maces, right, or raining claw, left leg is going to step back, and I'm going to block right on top of that radial loop as I go. What happens, though, is that it snakes up and around and grabs. I have my dragon trap in this technique. I still like teaching that version, right? I block as this circles up, cross the left hand on top, and grab. If you know this technique or you're learning this technique, try full version today. Well, the kicks are about to come up. That's all you want to work absolutely fine. One, grab two. That's your settle. When you do the dragon traps, that's when your right leg is going to pull towards the cat. Okay, so if I break it down really slow, 
I step in wrong, I cat and trap. Okay, when I put that together slowly for timing, one, two. Okay, let's try that again. One, two, as that comes over. Careful that your left arm, again, is not making this big circle, but it's coming right from point of origin, coming straight up, pulling right in. Let's do it one more time, we'll have the kicks. Okay, step and block, and cat and trap. Right leg, right through your cat, fires that front kick, okay? Fire the front kick, and now I'm gonna to toss the arm, right, as I land, and I turn. Here's my back kicks, okay? I'm gonna go left back kicks, and I like to teach two thrust kicks, so right back kick, thrust them away from me. Okay, toes pointing towards the ground, hitting with the heel of your foot, that to make sneak and tell, okay? Again, guard is up, walk through with me before I count it out, okay? Step and block, drag and trap, pull into the cat, right leg, front kick, turn, left back kick, right back kick, and get out of there, okay? So at your own pace, or if you just want to work the kicks, put your right leg in front. Cool, work this. Front, back, back. Great drill, okay? If you've heard us say this before, yes, they can tell them can be off of a chicken kick. It would be a low, high. I like two thrusting back kicks because I think we're just going to shoot them back a little more. Okay, uh, pick your, your variation on that, okay? Any piece of this, I'll call out our, our seven. Here we go. One. Up and go, okay? When we do the trap, I do my front kick. I'm still holding on to the arm, still holding on, still holding on, like I'm a bull. So that you're not letting go before that back kick comes in and you don't lose the opponent, okay? That front kick, and I'll tell you from first hand, you get that front kick in, pop, and it could be the end of the technique, right? It comes in fast and hard, especially because you're pulling them into the front kick, Man, that can knock the wind out of someone or hit them really hard in the front and drop. Trust me, it works. Okay, let's keep going. Two. Three. Four. Let's go. We got three more. Breathe it out. Five. Six. One more time. Seven. Good. Shake it out. Shake it out. Shake it out. Yes, I have time for one more. Um, and that's going to be Circle of Doom, Green Chief. Okay. I want to get my, my heel kick and my hook kick in today. Okay, you guys know me. I love good. Heel kick. Okay, front kick's coming for me, that's the attack. This time I'm going to start your right neutral bow, thrusting slowly, starting left neutral bow. Advanced motion in this technique, okay? I'm not even moving much off the line. If I move off the line, it's actually straight back in this technique. But I want you to think reverse bow, and this is, you guys, this is going to be a textbook technique without any adjustment steps, so just stay with me, okay? Right leg is going to turn into a reverse bow. Pointing my heel toward the opponent. When I do that, I'm using my inward forearm, right? Start to start blocking. Downward, inward forearm, back to my chest. I'm using the same thing. Inward forearm, but now I'm going to make a big circle with it, like I'm going to do an outward block, and I toss the hand down as I settle into that over spell. Okay? Guard is a beating guard. Let's say this up, right hand is down. Okay, I circle, circle, circle. Get the foot away from me. That just tried to kick my leg. Okay, yes, uh, someone's really long-legged attacking you, right? You can add a step drag and still toss the arm. Absolutely fine. You notice my right heel is ready to go. Okay, so I'm gonna toss, circle, toss the foot down. Right heel is gonna come up to the groin, right? Adjustments if you were taking that, if you're learning this technique, you get a little bit of shuffle. Okay, I'll watch you guys, just go. Right heel kick comes up, left hook kick is gonna come up to the base, kick them in the groin, and comes down. I'm gonna roll the right out of the shoulder, the hook kick comes up, and that's where I cross, okay? 
So I have, again, slowly, right, which will go reverse bow circle, get the foot off of me, right heel kick comes up, plant it back, or if you want to bring it in a little bit, just set up to that left hook, not to the line, look over your shoulder, hook, and then come back. Okay, so let's try it. Here's our seven. Yes, you can, you guys, have some fun. Okay, baby guards up. Here we go, circle of doom for your blue green belt. One. Yes, okay. <laughs> Here we go. Two. And back. Three. Hop. Four. Hop. Next one to me again. Learn that and then make adjustments. Five. Two more. Six. And seven. Heel up, hook, and I out. Okay, very nice. Okay. So, kick day, kick technique day. Okay. A um, little bit of orange, purple, blue, and green. Questions, you guys. Hopefully, I filled you up. Right, with some good drills, con controlled drills. Hi, Rory. <laughs> Hopefully I filled you guys up. Um, again, control on the chair, but just some ideas, taking those, putting them into your techniques. Take those same ideas and look at every sheet that you have or every technique that you have that has a kick in it. But then, don't forget about the other side of the technique. If you guys are working um, deflecting hammer, right? or swinging pendulum, right? Swinging pendulum doesn't have a kick in it, but you, as the attacker, do a kick. So keep that in mind too. Be just as precise when you're attacking as an uki as you are as the practitioner doing the technique, okay? Um, questions, you guys? On uh, the snaking one. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm, I'm doing a left pox out before that dragon trap, is that? Gonna be a problem. Yeah, be careful because you'll lose their uh, you'll lose their left arm. You're hitting their left first, okay. right? So the other version, Isaac, if you want to work something else, and a lot of you guys who have learned this technique, I don't think I'm getting too much. I'm bad at that. <laughs> so the other version, I wouldn't add this too much uh, with your left because you're gonna shoot them away from you. Then you're gonna lose them, right? So the idea is here. Right, and if you want something else besides the dragon trap, the American Kempo version is the dragon trap is shallow Kempo, you guys, straight up. All right, if you want the other version, it's step back and block, grab the wrist with your right, pop the elbow with your left, and that's going to be this version. But if you're using your left first, right, you're pushing them away from you, and then you're going to have conflicting where your arms are going. You'll find it much more difficult on, uh, on a new key if you have that uh, extra parry. Okay. Uh, and with that, I gotta get these two ready, so. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Isaac. Uh, yeah, kids class is about to start. Um, Bye. What else, you guys? <laughs> cool. All right, well, hopefully you guys got a good workout. I'm gonna I'll bow you out. It is 2.59, okay? <laughs> right on the money. Um, if you guys are going to stay for uh, belt rank class, brown belt stuff, um, please come in, ask questions. Um, I'm going to grab some water when we're done. You do the same. Everyone come on up to a front position for me. Now, step it out. Breathe. Two more breaths. One more into your nose, and out, and up, and salute. Happy Friday. Don't forget, you guys, one o'clock workout class tomorrow.